today we are going to make one of my like go-to things, which is hummus and roti, which is like an Indian flatbread. This is probably like a cup and a half of flour. I'm not 100% sure. This is my oil cup. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in there. I'm heating up this oil and I'm going to toast some fennel seeds that we're going to put into the roti. Um, that's probably like a teaspoon, I'd say. And then we're going to put some salt in with the flour and baking soda. Oh, this, by the way, is from the Dollar Tree. That's like our Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Drain the garbanzo beans, put them in your food processor. And unfortunately, you need a food processor or a blender to make hummus. So those are nice and toasty. I'm going to put those right in, along with the oil. A little bit of garlic powder. For good measure. Oh, you missed the cumin. Cumin, yeah, probably like half teaspoon. Three quarters cup. Three quarters. Um, start stirring. Just dip your hands in the oil a little bit. And the oil is bubbled. Okay, so it's still sticky. I'm gonna add some more flour. It's no longer sticky, and you want to just knead it. It's a little sticky. Cody has no idea what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a little sticky. And we're going to put in some roasted red peppers. Just tear them right up. Need some more in there. It's going to be that of rice vinegar, because we don't have regular vinegar. Um, drizzle. Tablespoon. I'm gonna add in some tahini. This is like the last of my tahini. Son of a gun, it's all chunky. That's okay. So normally I'd add in a lot more, but we don't have a lot left. And it's like the bottom. And tahini is like uber expensive. And then... Mm some oil, put on the top, and then we're going to get another mug with a little bit of water in it that we'll add as needed. So we're going to puree and mix and it's going to be very loud. As long as the dough is relaxed, it's ready to roll, ready to Let's roll. Let's another piece. This will probably make... That's like the size you want for one, like a fistful, I guess, you, or a palmful. You call that a palmful? Mm -hmm. So I'll do a lot of it by hand right now, just pressing it down as much as we can. And we'll take my rolling pin. And you do not want it to be perfectly around because that looks freaking lame. Make it unique. Let it shine. I'm gonna put it right in here. Put some more flour down so it doesn't stick to your board. Press it down, flatten it. What cake? What is that? You just, just live with the flour. It's part of it. <laughs> I don't know how Martha does it, how Julia did it, how Emerald Lagasse. Bam! Does it? Rachel Ray. These guys are all fake. I'm real. Just kidding, they're not fake. They're my My favorite of all time is the Happy Herbie for Lindsay Nixon. Hey, I can get an elephant. Shout out. You may have to adjust the heat depending, but right now I've got it on a pretty high heat. Flip it over, and then you're going to mm. just press down. And then sometimes it starts to bubble too. Okay, so we finished our last roti. Make it look pretty. Like this. Be careful going from the kitchen to the dining room because it's a long trip and you don't want to spill it. So that's today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Cody, cheers.